Hey everybody in YouTube land, this is Nina Mae coming to you. I got, it's a Saturday, I got out today and I, I've got a little small haul for you, but it's some really good stuff. I went to, uh, I call him the Preacher Man, and he's, uh, all, he's what it was, about years ago there was an antique store there, Mr. Bill's Antiques, and that's where I got a lot of my stuff from. Me, I probably told y'all the story, me and Mr. Bill, uh, we would trade out firewood he he'd want firewood and so i he'd get a little sheet and he'd write down you know how much you know and so and then at the end of the month or whatever i'd go over to his antique shop and i'd shop well i'd get some good stuff there i'm talking real good stuff and that's how i got a lot of my antiques because them th stuff that a lot of stuff is expensive but anyway he, he bless his heart him and his wife both passed away and this preacher he uh took over that building and people donate a lot of stuff. I'm talking nice stuff too, y'all. And he sells it really, really reasonable. And so I go there and I shop a lot. I hadn't been there in a while and stuff. And they made a fit over me. I was kind of makes you feel good when you miss, you know. But anyway, I bought a few things. And I think I got some really good deals. And I hope you like them. And, um, but anyway, let me get started. This is the first, I, I, first thing I picked up. I, my home is, I've got a lot of antique stuff like bowl, wooden bowls, and it's kind of southwestern, it's kind of primitive, it's kind of Victorian, so it's all kind of mixed up, and it's stuff I like, but I picked this up, now for three dollars now, three dollars, look at this, see this is the back of her, and she's made of like a little, uh, you know, like a little pedestal, like a little pedestal thing, I don't know what you call these things, spindles, yeah, spindle, but look at her, and this is a little wings, I gotta, I gotta iron these back, put some starch on them, iron them back out. Little primitive angel, isn't that thing cute? And I'm telling y'all something. I have um. Let me look here. But that's the top of it, yeah. And but anyway, and uh, that's the bottom of it. But anyway, I have priced these things, and some of them, you know, them shops and all that you can go to, and online. And man, things are expensive. Let me tell you, I got that, and this is a big thing that I got. I had one years ago, and I could kick my butt for getting rid of it. It was my mother-in-law's, and I never used it. But I have a gut feeling these are coming back in style. So I said, you know what, I'm going to get me one. Because I do go to church, and I do like entertaining the women. And I think this will be really good. Let me show it to y'all. This is a a punch bowl. He probably had six or seven different kinds. But see that one right there? All right. Look at the Look at the... Isn't that neat looking? I just love it. It's, it's fruit. Put them on. But anyway, here's the little cups. Can y'all see that? They're not real big, and that's what I liked about them. And here's a little, you know, the little, you know, like dip your little juice and stuff in there. And uh, I looked for the hooks, and they didn't have them here, but I looked in one. I got them at that other punch bowl. Because you got to have the hooks. Here's the little hooks, and here's the little bag that it come in. And the poor little bag's been beat up so bad, but look at that little bag. I'm telling y'all, he had all kinds of um, of these uh, punch bowls. And I, I, for some reason, I have a gut feeling them things, but these are going to come back in style, and then I ain't going to have one, or they're going to start selling on, for uh, arm and leg. But I got that, and then the other day, I forgot to show y'all this. This lady, uh oh, this lady, uh, she had, she had, uh, she had a, well, I was in this other little antique store, that well, little thrift store the other day, and, um, this was so, so funny, thank God I didn't say nothing ugly. Uh, these two ladies were walking around with me, you know how you meet people in a store and you just start chit chatting and all that, well, we start chit chatting and I came up on this little booth section because they ha everybody has different booths. And I started looking around. I said, this lady right here, I said, she has a lot of nice stuff. I said, she's real reasonable. So this lady said, she is. I, she said, I said, yeah. Uh, and I said, yeah, a lady told me about her friend of mine. Told me about I said, I've never met the lady. I said, but she said, you ever met the ladies? So she said, I said, no, I've never met the lady. I said, but I hear she's really nice. And I, she said, well, I'm the lady that owns it. I was like, oh, girl. I said, thank God I didn't say nothing. Well, I wouldn't have said nothing ugly. Anyway, but she had this, you could lift this one, a wreath up there. Now, I added this little this little fringy bow on there. I'm going to take that fringy bow off. But anyway, I made that the other day. But she said, you could lift this wreath. She wanted 20 bucks for it. So we started 
going back and forth, back and forth. I said, uh, she said, what about 15? I said, what about 12? No, what uh, about 10? She said, what about 12? I said, 12 so, she, so I got it for $12. I thought we did pretty good with that wreath. Because they are expensive. And I got that. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but I did get some nice stuff, y'all. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know anything. When I'm fixing to show you, I don't know anything about it. But I paid $8 for a whole entire set. And, um... I'm probably going to take a picture of it and put it in on my for the title of it. This stuff is beautiful. I'm going to get a couple of pieces out here. And on the bottom, it's Slovakia. I can't pronounce the first name, but it says Slovakia and Victorian. Victoria on the other side. Let me let y'all, let's see if I can find this one. It's pretty clear. I'm going to see if y'all can't see that. What I'm talking about. See that? But anyway, I got, let me put them together. I don't know, I don't, I'm scared to death I'm going to break these things. My old hair, I swear, I can't do nothing. I should have left it long and just kept it pinned back. i tell you what. Ugh. All right, we're going to try it this way. All right, you see these? These are canisters, look. See that? There's no cracks, there's no chips, nothing. I got those. Of course, now all of them have lids. They all have lids. Let me put a lid on one and show y'all. Look, they all have lids to them. Aren't those pretty? All right, that came with it. Like I said, all the lids did. And then this came with it, and I... I couldn't find anything else to go that went with it. But anyway, and I got that. They glued the top on this thing. And I don't know why. I'm trying to get that off. But there was an extra lid in here that matches this. So I so I got it. And she said, if you come across any of that, I said, let me know. But on the bottom, like I said, it's got Victoria, Slovakia. And I can't pronounce that other word. But anyway, and, and on the bottom, it's, they're stamped too, like 3102. And I think some of 3100. I don't know what that means, but anyway, I'll let y'all look at that. Y'all know anything about this, let me know. Now this, I really, really, really like this. Look at this. Isn't that cool, y'all? And they use this because there's a coffee scoop still in one. But anyway, I just thought that was, see, I might put uh, balls of vinegar in here. Let me tell you how to do your balls of vinegar. I'm going to tell you a little story how to do that. My sister-in-law, Jackie, taught me how to do it. You know, you can buy the aged balls of vinegar, and you can take, uh, it's, it's real thick now, but it's real, real, real expensive. I'm talking real expensive. But what you can do is you can take cheap balls of vinegar, just get you, I'm talking a huge bottle of it. Pour it in a saucepan. Put it on low now, or get it on medium till it starts to kind of bubble. And then you kind of cut it down, but you still let it bubble. And you just keep kind of stirring it every now and you watch it. But you keep watching. Don't you dare burn it, because you're going to mess it all up, throw it all, might as well throw it in the garbage. And as you, it's going to cook down now. And you just stir it until it gets the consistency of syrup. And then let it cool off and pour in one of them containers like that. And then you can take your, like your little dipping plates, put a little bit of sweet ball, ball because it's real sweet. Balls of vinegar in there, put some olive oil on there. And if you got any seasons on there, put that on there and get you some good, soft, fresh French bread. Ooh, that is, mm, that is good. That's real good. Good eating. But anyway, now this lid did have, this little lid did have a crack on it. It does. Somebody knocked that thing good. But it don't matter to me because I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna put them up. I'm gonna put them out. But there's the top where they dirty. So don't look at my nails. Y'all took them nails. I gotta let my nails. I gotta let my nails breathe. I've had them fake nails on it for so long. Put that back. Put this on. Yeah, there's everything there. I'm gonna try to get the lid off of this because I just look at this. Look at that tor. I'm. I said I told you when I cracked chips on now. They're hitting on the canister sets, but. They glued that on there. I'm going to have to try to get that off somehow. Man, I wish they had the whole set to that. 
you know, because that is so pretty. That is. All right, and then I got, let me look down in here. I'll get everything. Oh, yeah, this is what I want to show y'all. Yes, 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 yes. Got a couple things else I want to show you before I show you the linens. I'm sorry for lifting down. All right, I got this little fella. He has no marks or nothing on him, but I love him. I'm putting him with my other mule. See him? See that little mule? <laughs> Five dollars for him, which I kind of thought that was a little bit much, but you know, I figured that's. I thought about two dollars. He had a five, so I just, so I just took it. And see, like this right here, I'd pay five for this because this is unique. I have no earthly idea, and it does have a crack on it, but I don't care. I liked it. I think it's unique. It does not have any. Well, it does have a marking on it. I'll show. Let me show it to y'all. This is just neat, y'all. Let me show it to you in both pieces. Look, see that. And there's maybe a marking on it. I don't know what that means. But see, it's got like a little thing right here. There's the crack right there. But see, you put it on here like this, see? But I don't know what that what that is, y'all. If any of y'all, well, he goes like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Nita. Yeah, you put him like that. See? And, and I don't know. I think it must have a spoon or something come out of it. I don't know what this is. If y'all know what this is, let me know. But y'all thought that was cute. Now, see, I'd pay $5 for that. But anyway, I'm going to look that mule up. I think I've seen that mule before on uh, eBay. These I paid a dollar for. That's what I paid for these. They're little salt and pepper. I thought they was cute. They're unique. I mean, you can't use them or nothing. But they're, they're little bottles of glass. But I just like the little canister and stuff, the little thing that they're in. I think they got too hot down on the stove or something, and they started melting. <laughs> Ain't no telling. But I paid a buck for this. She said, what's she going to do with this paint? I said, no, I'm going to wash them up limb like they are. And then, oh, yeah, let me show y'all this. Get up in here. And let me show you the card where, uh, this is, this is him. This is him. That's where I go, right there, y'all. Sweet, sweet, sweet people. I mean, I ain't begging for nothing, but if y'all want to make a donation to him or whatever, that'd be wonderful. And here's the number back here, I think the number. But anyway, uh, that might be the little girl's number on the back that works there. But you know, what he does with all that money, with the money, I mean, he don't make a lot, but what he does is like, I don't know, like in y'all's state, but here we got like a mission of hope, haven of hope for women, mission of hope for men. Salvation Army, all these other places that, you know, help people and all. And he takes that money, which he's got to pay his rent or whatever, you know, for the uh, his uh, building and all. But he does uh, take that money. He don't, he, he, he's got a list of who he donates to. He donates money to every one of those charities he does. He's so, he's, I call him Preacher Man. I say, hey, Preacher Man, how you doing? Because I don't know his name. Yo, it's hot. And it's just, I told y'all, it's hot. See, I'm sweating. At light. I didn't realize that light was so going to be so hot I wouldn't have got it. Then I got these little, uh, these little, these little, uh, I guess these little handkerchiefs. Look at that. That is new. I don't know where it's from. But anyway, look, I got it. I'm going to hand wash all these. I got that one. And then I got this one here, which, oh, I love this one, y'all. Still got a tag on it. I probably, I don't probably pay 50 cents for these. I had another one, yeah. Yeah, and I had another one. Here's my other one. This is this one's old, too. You know what I might do? I was just sitting here thinking. When I was putting these out, I might start saving these. So whenever I have the... Because, you know, last year, well, I wasn't able to have the Christmas party here at the church. Because, you know, I got that COVID uh, December the 11th. And I started getting sick around the 15th or 16th, I think. And so, uh, and we're supposed to have the party on the 17th. So we couldn't have it. You know, we all of us got sick at one time in my little church. And um, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, I might start saving them up. And that would be a cute little gift to put in like a little gift bag. Because I still, you know what we done, me and my pastor's wife? I had I had bought gifts for everybody. And they were homemade little ornaments. So I told her, the, matter of fact, the other couple of weeks ago, I said, look, just put them back. We'll have the party at my house again this year because I know we're going to have it. God's going to let us have it. God's going to. 
bless us this year. I know he is. We'll have a good year this year. We're already having a good year this year. And um, I think I'm going to put, put some of them. But I think I'm going to try to buy the new ones. Uh, that's my little top here uh, coming down. But anyway, and then I bought some uh, little, uh, little uh, uh, what do you call these? Napkins, little napkins here. I love, and I use these too. When I have family ever. I use, I got four of these, I think. I'll let y'all see one of them. I got four of them. See them? Ain't that cute? That is so cute. Yeah, I got four of those. Then I got some little doilies. Cute little doilies. Here's one. This is just no plain, plain thing. Here's a cute one here. And I really like that one there. I really, that reminds me, I've got one like this. That my grandmother, uh, her name was Frances. That's what I'm named after. She uh, she made, she did it, made it, and I still got, I got that. And I got four flags. Let me show you my flags. Paid a dollar a piece for these flags. And y'all know, y'all know these flags are expensive. I paid four bucks a piece for them. And y'all know I'm a beagle person. So, look what I got. <laughs> look at Snoopy. A Christmas one. Isn't that sweet? Look at that, y'all. A dollar. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I don't know. Yeah, I think I told you about my about my beagle biting my husband in the mouth. Well, he's doing much better. He's still a little sore. But you can't aggravate animals like that. You can't do it. He wasn't aggravating. My, 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 my brother-in-law was. All right, here's another one, y'all. I'm probably going to put this one up here in a little bit. Isn't that neat? And this is in good shape, too. A little dirty, but hey, it's going to be outside. Who cares? It's not going to be in my house. But a dollar for those. Not all of them, a dollar piece. Now, I like this in here is an expensive. Exp this in here is probably about a $30 flag, because I know, because I got one hanging up there that was 30 And it's by um, Toiling uh, Leading by Design. It's made in Louisiana. Louisiana. Look at there. Isn't that pretty, y'all? I don't know. I might put this one up. Yep. Toolin or Toolin uh, Company over in Louisiana. Made that one. <clears throat> At least let me just show you the dang thing. Y'all know I can't hardly read nothing. I can't pronounce nothing right. Hang on. So y'all might want to order something from there. Who knows? I don't know. Let's see, let me see that. Yeah. Excuse me, y'all. And here's my other one. Now this in here is a heavy duty one. I mean, it is thick, y'all. Real thick. But look at it. It is... Nice. This in here is real nice, too. I mean, it's real nice. I don't know. I might put this in up. Who knows? I don't know, y'all. It's got welcome on it. Y'all see? Y'all can see the pattern, I guess. I don't know. I kind of like that. I might go put this in up. I might take this in with me. I've got a couple places I hang flags from. I still hang flags. I love them. But anyway, y'all, that was my little haul. I didn't buy no clothes or anything like that this time. Um... Because I didn't go to the Goodwill or any of the other thrift places. Uh, but I did. I enjoyed myself th today. I think I got me some good little things. I love that primitive uh, angel. I really do like her. She's she's so cute. I love junk like that. It's just like my godmom, Yvonne Baker. She says, it's just stuff, Nita. It's just stuff. And when I get her age, I'm going to say, it's just stuff. It's just stuff. I used to go. Um, they adopted me. Well, you can't adopt a 30-year-old woman, but back when I was in my 30s, you know, I've never met my real biological father, which lives probably 20 minutes away from him. That's a whole other story. But anyway, uh, this older couple was at church, you know, at my church, and I got to know them and stuff, and I just fell in love, love, love with this couple. And they've been married about as long as me and my husband had. They didn't have children yet, but they both had been married before and had grown children. And this man, he's always, he always just loved me. His name was George Baker. He always just loved, loved, loved me. And I says, uh, it says something about he wanted a daughter. I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll be your daughter. And we got a bond together. We just started bonding. I started doing things with him. And uh, he says, uh, 
he talked to my husband about it. He said, would you care if I adopted her? He says, no, sir, I don't. I want you to. Because he knew, my husband knew that I had an issue about not knowing who my biological father was. And, um, but, you know, when one door closes, another one opens. And God always saves the best for the last. You know what I'm saying? He always saves the best for the last. And that just gets, uh, but anyway, we, I'll never forget that day. I still got the papers and all. We went down to the courthouse. And legally, I'm too old to be adopted. Okay, let's just say that right out. But I changed my name to Baker. So I'm Nita Baker, May. Anyway, and uh, I'll never forget that. As long as I live, he gave me some pearls that day. And we were dad. I called him daddy all the time. Now, his kids, his grown kids were older than me. And they really didn't have, didn't have nothing to do with him. And he had a daughter that didn't have anything to do with him. She lived north somewhere, didn't never have anything to do with him. But she was so jealous that I was part of his life. And my godmom told him, oh, well. But I'd, I went, I'd go to Tennessee with him, y'all, and we'd have so much fun. And he, he'd drive. He knew every spot, every nice spot in Tennessee. And I'd go shopping. And Missy Vaughn just, just look at me. She said, it's just stuff, needed." I said, yes, but I got to look. I got to look. I got to look. You know, because I, said, I was young, younger back then. I was you know, getting, figuring out who, what I wanted in life and what decor I wanted. You know, you just, when you're young, you really, I don't know. Me, I didn't know. I'm talking about myself. I didn't really know. Because I liked everything. But I started, I started drifting off with the country stuff and all that. And, and that's where I'm at. That's my little, that's my thing is old stuff and country stuff. I don't like nothing modern. Don't give me, don't, don't come up in here with no modern stuff. Cause I ain't. I ain't uh, good for you if you like it. I'm happy for you because I think it, I think it's pretty. It's somebody else's house, but um anyway yeah he um but he was my daddy for many 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 years, and uh, we did everything together. He died October thirty first a couple years back, and um I I tell y'all something y'all probably gonna get mad with me. It kind of upsets me a little thinking about it, but uh. I miss him more than I miss my mother, and I, I can't help that, you know. He was so good to me, and if you've ever felt the love, the love, love from somebody that you know they love you, that's what I felt from him. I did, and uh, he was a good Christian man. Oh, he was a good Christian man. When the pastor would ask him to pray, this is what do you say? I'm gonna mimic him a little bit. He said he'd always say, "Come out with the word, Master," and it, he would just it would be so like Master. He would say to God, and that's how he always started his prayers. That was Master, and it wasn't looked like this. It was loud Master, and he had a deep voice, you know. And anyway, he was almost ninety years old when he passed, and um, I'll miss him. But you know what? I've dreamed about him so many times, y'all. I had he's come in my dreams. So many times, and they've been wonderful dreams. And Missy Vaughn was always in it. His wife, my godmom, she was always with me. But it's us three, and it was always wonderful dreams. But anyway, I know y'all are interested in all this mess, but it's just the stuff that part of my life, you know. But anyway, I don't know what I was going to tell you. My mind just went blank, but seen a, a brain fart, y'all. But <laughs> anyway, anyway I, yeah, I do. I think about him a lot. And I miss him so much. And I go, I do keep in touch with my godmom a lot. And I check on her, make sure she's okay. Well, she's got two daughters and stuff, which they love me. Then people are good to me. But anyway, uh, I hope that you like my, my little haul. And you like my, my run in my mouth. And telling you a little bit apart about who I am and stuff. But um, if you like it, like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. So if I can do another little video, they'll let you know. Peace out.